what is up everyone this is fnh here with a brand new video talk about how to benchmark your windows 10 pc or laptop basically your computer so uh what is benchmarking at first so basically what this is doing is you're basically running like a check on your computer that you currently have that you bought or you built yourself and see how it stands against other people's computers and whatnot so it's actually a very good test to see like let's say me i have a gaming pc i think i bought this for or I built it for like 1500 2000 I don't remember like two three years ago uh, mainly because of the the GTX 1080 Ti that's in here that was the most expensive expensive thing part of the hard drive um, I did get a um, SSD card as well and like a lot of RAM etc 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 so um, we're gonna be using Geekbench 5 and this is like a free version anyone can download it I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check it out and do a benchmark basically you can do a CPU benchmark and you can do a uh, compute benchmark so we're going to do a, uh, first we are going to do a CPU benchmark. These can take some time, as you can see, and you can purchase this as well to do like much more deep dive benchmarks. There's a lot more other ones out there, uh, obviously, but we're going to be doing this. Um, I will pause the video so you guys don't have to wait throughout the whole time, but let's see this one, how long this would take. It says two to 20 minutes, so let's pause it for now. And once it's done, we'll be back. So we are back. As you can see, the test or the benchmark completed for the first portion and it actually opened this web browser up pretty interesting so let's see what's happening in here so let's talk about the msi ms781 it's talking about my cores what i basically got for the input my single core is 1076 my multi-core score is 3696 pretty good uh you can see the system information it talks about what the type of model i had i have obviously the windows 10 pro 64 bit uh, my processor um overall what i have the channels the memory etc my ram uh, so let's see how overall well I did as you can see the single core performance is talking about all the different factors over here The HTML5 how long it takes navigation SQL Lite, overall seems pretty good um, Then like the multi-core performance overall. That's really damn good as you can see how much more you got going by Obviously if you're a techie person you're able to get a good read on most of what's happening I'm familiar with a few things such as like HTML5 SQL Lite, etc uh, text rendering PDF rendering is pretty damn fast actually impressive <laughs> very impressive and again you can check the charts as well to basically see how well i did how well the other ones are doing the vulcan benchmark chart which would be more for gaming i believe open seal benchmark uh etc etc so this is the so you can see you can even do it like a comparison against yours like the top versus the top single score versus that so mine is a thousand as you can see the top is two thousand multi-score top is seven thousand mine is uh, four thousand and again this is not similar mine is i77 something I believe where was my core yep as you can see that's a different core um, I would be nice if they could show like side by side the top with mine to see like how other people are doing but again you can see these are the top results some people have some insane graphic cards like on this Mac with the AMD Ryzen um, and as you can see like this is Windows basically this was done in 2019 and again it's pretty cool I like how they're showing like these different tests and whatnot but again obviously these people have some crazy i9s and i7s and whatnot which obviously I do not have yet uh, maybe in the future who knows my PC works fairly well. Um, we're gonna give the that was the CPU benchmark I do want to give the uh, the other benchmark a shot as well and see just want to make sure yep We're recording <laughs> yeah, and run this as well So I'm gonna give this a pause real quick as well and we'll be back on this one It might take longer it might take less, but I'll be back in a few seconds all right, we are back. As you can see, this one is just completed. This was much faster than the other one, but as you can see, it's back. My OpenCL score is 56K, pretty good. Uh, one view, I, well, I guess, yeah, your, your thing gets public, so people can obviously see what my uh, thing was. Similar thing, it talks about my process, my cores, my threads, uh, the family it's in, blah, blah, blah. And this is the main one, the CL information. It's NVIDIA, or NVIDIA, however people say it, 28 units, <coughs> the CUs. Uh, the PS4 is supposed to have 36 and the Xbox is supposed to have 56. The PS5, sorry, the Xbox One Series X, the new ones. Uh, device memory 11 gig and maximum frequency 1.58 gigahertz. Pretty crap compared to the latest graphic cards and what the PS5 uh, 5 and Xbox One Series X is supposed to handle. Um, and again, you can see all the different uh, features over here on how much the open seal score goes by and it's basically what it can be. And if I wanted to obviously compare these, um, which one was it? I guess it's this. I don't know if it's this one. Uh, was it this one? I guess. It says bench, uh, compute benchmarks, right? No, let me see. I guess. I don't know. I can't find it. 
I might have to, oh yeah, it is this one, sorry, right there, open seal score, as you can see. Uh, this is what it goes by over here, and I'm fairly close to that, I guess, or that is mine. Oh, it's mine. Okay, oh, that's the latest, that's why. <laughs> it's not the top. I thought it was the top. Um, it doesn't show the top, I guess, which is still fine, which is still fine. Maybe I can get it from here, because it's a metal, right? So I should be able to get it. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, obviously the AMD Radeon Pro Mega. That's the latest one I believe that came out. Let's see if the GTX is here or not. I don't really see it. So if I search 1080T, right there. Uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. It comes at 5595. 50. Mine was obviously a little bit higher. I don't know why, <laughs> but it was a little bit higher. So that's pretty cool that I got a higher benchmark over there. Uh, so, yeah, this is literally how you can benchmark your your computer if you guys wanted to i'll leave a link in the description below it's literally by geekbench the website that you see right there it's free for download you can obviously get the paid version i wouldn't recommend it um i mean unless you're like crazy doing something that you want to really t benchmark and test it out and, like you're an extremely tech savvy person and you need to like clock with clockwork or overclock it or whatever completely up to you but yeah uh guys if you like the video overall uh do smash that like button it helps a lot if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and other than that out peace